Steaking Tutorial. Hi, I'm Alexis Winslow, and I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on a knitting technique called steaking. So what is a steak, and what does steaking mean? Well, borrowing a useful phrase from the craft of sewing, a steak is basically just a seam allowance. It's a bit of extra fabric that will be cut with scissors and folded to the inside of the garment. The act of cutting this seam allowance with scissors is called steaking. The idea is that you can cut apart circular knitted pieces to create flat pieces. Now, why would you want to do that when you could just knit them flat in the first place? Well, you'll notice that the vast majority of steaked garments involve fair isle patterning that is worked from a chart. Using a steak means that the knitter can knit the whole garment in the round in a tube with the right side facing from the start to the finish. The main benefit is they avoid having to interpret a color work chart in reverse from the wrong side. Even though steaking is normally used for fair isle, you can steak any kind of knitted fabric, even if you're only using one color of yarn. You can even steak as an afterthought, like if you knitted the, a pullover and later decided it would make a better cardigan. So let's look at a steak, and I'll walk you through an example. This is my Tiber cardigan before I cut the steak. Those cool looking vertical stripes in the center are the steak area. Let's talk about those stripes. When working a pattern with a steak, the instructions will probably let you decide how you want to do it. They might instruct you to work a steak that is anywhere from 3 to 12 stitches, but not tell you much of anything else. It's kind of up to you how you execute it. As a general rule, it's best to work the steak area with alternating colors. A checkerboard pattern or vertical stripes are both fine. Before you cut down the center of your steak, you may want to reinforce the edges to ensure the fabric doesn't unravel beyond a critical point. Considering how fast knitted fabric unravels vertically, it is surprisingly bad at unraveling horizontally. So if you're using a sticky wool yarn, reinforcing it might not even be necessary because the edges will sort of felt together. There are many ways to reinforce a steak, from using crochet to employing a sewing machine. I encourage you to find the method that you are most comfortable with. I like using a sharp needle threaded with thinner yarn that's about five times the length of the steak. I do two lines of hand stitching on each side of the cutting line to ensure the piece won't unravel. I start at the bottom, one column of stitches from the center line, and do a simple running stitch towards the top. Guide the needle in a dipping motion into the fibers of each knitted stitch, and try to keep a fairly loose tension throughout. When I get to the top, I turn around and do a back stitch all the way back to the beginning. Again, being very careful to sew through each knitted stitch. The back stitch is very elastic, but more importantly, it creates loops through the fabric that encase the strands on the underside, keeping them snugly in place. The process takes a while, but in the end, I have the peace of mind knowing that my precious hand knit will never unravel. Now let's talk about cutting. Cutting a steak is the closest thing to an exhilarating experience you will get from a knitting pattern, so you should really try to enjoy it. While it seems scary at first, cutting is actually one of the easiest steps. There's just one thing to remember about cutting. Only cut the strands in the center of your steak. In other words, cut straight, avoid cutting your reinforcing stitches, and definitely avoid cutting any part of the backside of your garment. After the steak is cut, you can either pick up stitches to make an edging or sew it to another piece. The cut stitches will naturally curl to the backside and don't need much more attention. But for a nice finishing touch, you can neatly stitch them down. I finished my Tiber cardigan by adding a nice, simple knitted on button band. If you're nervous about your first time steaking, practice on a swatch. You'll see there's nothing to be scared of. And in fact, steaking makes you feel like you are truly the boss of your knitting. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll be notified when new tutorials become available. Thanks for watching.